Hi everyone! I'm excited to show you my swan orchid. The Cygnotis orchid finally opened. It actually opened yesterday, but because it just opened, I waited another day to make sure that it's fully opened. So, this is my, uh, it's also called the green lipped orchid, Cygnotis orchid. Yeah, so this is a uh, uh chlorochylon or chlorochylon, however you say it. And it's very fragrant. I cannot describe the fragrance. It's a mix. It's a mixture of everything of fragrance and sweet. So, you know, everybody has different uh, description of how the smell is, but. As uh, you know, as far as I know, it's it's a sweet, nice fragrance to it. Very fragrant, especially yesterday when it just opened. It's so fragrant. Um, so this has four blooms on it. Can you believe that? Yeah. And um, I read about also uh, Cygnotus. Uh, Wurtzi Witsii, I think I s I'm not sure if I said it right, but they kind of close to how they look. But I think the difference is this one is uh, a lot bigger, I think, in size. I think that's what I read. So, yeah, um, I actually moved it. Uh, this is the only area that. Uh, it's uh, I can put on uh, protected from the wind it's been windy for two days uh, while it's almost opening I have to move it inside the shed neck uh, outside the shed and it's still windy there but not inside the shed but it get I want it outside it was only during the night I want it outside where it can feel the breeze so finally I found a spot where it's higher that I can see it and I can also you know be you like this and show you how pretty they are this one is so I'm gonna show you a picture of when it started to open okay. it's so pretty So according to my records, um, I bought this for $25 last year with, with just the bulbs, with no, no blooms. You see those two old bulbs, skinny ones. Can you imagine what I was thinking then when I bought it for $25? <laughs> um, it says water orchids. And I think ev when I look for it, I just ask if it's fragrant or not. And then I look at the picture. And yeah, we would think, we would thought that these tiny bulbs right here will produce a big bulbs like this. Okay. And it's still in the same pot that I bought last year. It's like a two and a half inch pot and it's still in the same sphagnum moss that it was already it was in before and I didn't have the time to uh, repot it so it, it's still in the same pot so the big bulb and the leaves and the flower is so heavy for this tiny pot and it's in a plastic pot actually that's what the original pot is and then I put it in a clay small clay pot then I put it in a basket with rocks on so it won't tilt over and fall so yeah that's just when it starts to bloom and flower so yeah i had been protecting it while it's in bud the bud was already big and it got windy and I have to protect it in case the so the spike won't break off or something but um yeah it got so big i don't know if you can see it look 
yeah so anyway I'll show you how big the pedals are I mean how wide it is I have a ruler here let's see I'm careful to use this ruler because a little bit sharp the edges okay um, let's see it's actually like okay the leaves are covering it up it's like see it's like four inches sorry can't I'm I'm holding the ruler and the other hand is the camera so yeah that's four inches and then the height is like mm, like three and a half yeah yeah so and I guess because it called green leaf you see that center there it's so dark green dark green that it's almost black yeah it's so pretty and I'm so glad this is the first time it flowered as you, you can see the the old bulbs were so tiny so yeah and it gave me four I'm so thankful so I w care for this just like my kata serum so they get winter rest or no watering at all during winter actually when the new ba new growth came out i just left it alone and um until it's so big that you know i started watering it they say that like catacidum you have to wait the root at least four inches or the growth is at least four inches or more yeah but i it was more than that and i just left it alone because it's getting uh energy from the old bulb anyway B that's why the old bug gets wrinkly yeah so and then you have to uh, keep the uh, moss moist if it's dry and watery again and and you feed them and usually I put slow release fertilizer so I don't have to worry about it like it's it's outside because I don't have during spring summer fall my orchids are outside so it has a high light and it get rain down down if it's uh rainy it's in a rainy day it get rain like the rest of my orchids so but they don't mind i they don't rot with the daily rain actually yeah i keep check make sure they don't get too much but yeah they don't mind at all so if they are growing probably aggressively during the summertime, they don't rot because they're they're really growing, even if it's uh, raining every day. But then if you water them during winter time where they are dormant and not having any activity, yeah, you're gonna rot them. So yeah, I am so glad. I am so happy to see this one finally opened and for the first time I finally see it in bloom so yeah so pretty and so fragrant this is something you can add in your collection they're very easy to grow and you don't even have to worry about it during winter because you don't have to water it and then you just let it be when the new growth is uh, growing until it's really big enough to um, be able to stand on its own and you can water it yeah for now I can't um, you know I get I don't get tired looking at it <laughs> for now <laughs> it, because it's just so pretty and so green it's a lighter green but the center is so dark with that lips sticking out yeah and the the forehead is like pale pale kind of whitish cream yeah to it yeah
it's very pretty thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you on my next video don't forget to subscribe bye now